Hi, my name is Marcus Dunn. I'm the 2022 Artist Fellow from North Carolina. Art is not something that you can do with, you know, with any means that you have. You have to kind of make sacrifices and, you know, find the time to do it, to have those hours in the studio. So it's, it's exciting to be in amongst other creative minds and also a tradition of artists that have come, come through South Arts. It's exciting to be a part of that. Art is, art is rich. It's a rich culture and it's a rich tradition. I mean, depending on whatever your heritage is. I'm Native American, so the arts are very, it's a very rich tradition. Uh, all of the Southeast is very important place to kind of showcase that. You have to feel like you're in the market areas like the West Coast or the Northeast to really get that exposure. This summer I was able to um, go to Skowhegan and do a residency at Skowhegan in Maine and without the fellowship I probably wouldn't have been able to do the things I did. One way I like to see the community support the art form is to have an open mind. Uh, I don't think my work is discriminatory even though my subject matter is very specific. It's about Native American boarding school experiences but it's from my own personal imagined um, narratives that I construct in the work and I want people to see the work to empathize with that history but also to put themselves in that pla the places of those figures and to identify with them even more that way. Because I think that's one thing that keeps people from thinking that natives are a myth or a thing of the past, not a group of people that exist today. So I want that to be present in the work. I have a work that's here called Raise Your Hand. I think that work is very it's very direct as of speaking for uh, individuals in a classroom setting, but also having that feeling that you can identify with some sense of, uh, you know, your surroundings while also being in an area that's displaced.